Hello boys and girls, men, women, children of all ages, I'm Nathan and welcome to another modern video. This is not the deck that we're going to play today, um, but I just wanted to let you know if you haven't seen me pilot this deck then I highly recommend that you check out a video series that came out was like on Sunday I think, I uh, did some two mans and also wanted to let you guys know to look forward to some versus videos with me and Jason Clark. I think that I'm going to try to put a significant amount of effort into this list. Um, come, you know, post rotation when Eldrazi goes away, I think the deck is totally awesome. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know to check that out and to look forward to the future videos. Now, as far as what I'm going to play today, as much as I would love to play some kind of amalgamation of Jeskai Geist, my favorite deck. I don't think I can. There's just so much Eldrazi that the chances that I run into it are really high and it doesn't have a good matchup. You know, and I don't even really know what I want to play, to be honest. Um, but I think I'm going to have to play something with some number of rafts. So I thought, you know, it's been a while since I like tried to pilot Esper Control through... Uh, a league and part of me is like why am I gonna do that you always lose with this deck but the fact is that the deck can run a lot of main deck sweepers and there's a lot of Eldrazi so that's what we're gonna do um, what I did is I took out I swapped out a couple of the you know normally this deck runs like four spell snares so I took two out and I put in two condemn because I think we need more removal um, I also took out um, two of the thing twice one of them for this detention sphere um, and the other one for another verdict now one of the decks two of the engines in this deck are really Esper Charm and thing twice what it's trying to do is hit every land drop and then cast the big sphinx's revelation um, and I, I that's one of the things I may do actually is I may cut around I just can't see myself doing that in this deck really um, so cutting the cantrips is kind of counterproductive, but the, the reality is we really just need to draw into removal spells. Um, and we don't have time really to think twice. We, we don't really want to draw think twice. We want to draw like Condemns and Detention Spheres. That's the only way that we're really gonna, gonna make it. So I'm gonna try this version of the deck. Um, as far as the sideboard, I may not even need these explosives. Um, I have a kind of high number of dispels because I want to hit Court of Callings and Collected Companies. And also they're good against combo. We have a couple of negates for things like um, Living End, which is pretty popular. That's what the reason for this Relic of Progenitus as well. I can actually just see myself putting another Relic in here. Um, I kind of expect to potentially see some Storm as well. So um, we have Vendillion Clicks for that kind of matchup too. So, so this is this is what I'm going to run. A couple of rests for the Wearies for Burn. I don't know if this should be Core Firewalker. Um, I'm not really sure what it should be. But against Burn, we're going to be bringing in like our clicks and our rests for the Wearies and um, such like that. Um, these could I, I had these as Core Firewalkers, but I do like Core Firewalker less since we don't have... Uh, we don't really have our red spells to get additional value out of it. Okay, so we're just going to give this a try um, and see how we do. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so we have an opponent. Um, we have a horrifically slow hand. We do have the Tension Sphere, um, but not doing anything to turn three. Seems pretty awful. I think I'd need to mulligan this. Uh, this is actually just not good either. Um, but I am going to keep it. I'm going to put the logic knot on top. All right, Tron, that's pretty bad. I didn't even, I don't even think I have much in the board for this matchup. Unfortunately... I, I actually was going to throw bribery in, but then I uh, I realized that I sold them. <laughs> so how can we beat Tron? Uh, 
Uh, that will come in handy for sure. I don't know that that's enough to win the matchup, obviously, but it'll do a little something for us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually shock here and the reason is if he has like if he can't get Tron online because we um, shadow of doubt this then if he untaps and say goes for a sylvan scrying I would really like to be able to counter it uh, so we will get a just get an island here and shadow of doubt Okay, drawing a cryptic could be useful. We also do have three ghost quarters, so... There is that. Uh, spell sky? I don't really think I care about spell sky. I guess it just depends on... Nah, I don't. It doesn't it doesn't pressure us. Okay, so we'll just play our planes here. But th the one thought is that if he if he plays a warm coil engine at some point and is able to resolve one, then it would be nice to uh Not have spell scout around, but I was gonna say I'm actually just more interested in trying to keep him off Tron as long as possible. So like, okay, no Sylvan Scrying. Let's go ahead and think twice. Um, hmm. Man, if we if we had Esper Charm, I would not be totally against just double like another Esper Charm, like Esper Charming and then untapping Esper Charming again. Uh, that is what we were holding the spell snare for. All right, so here I think let's see, do we play Esper Charm? Let's just flashback think twice. There's some chance that we that instant speed mind rotting our opponent is what we want to do at some point, so um let's see. I'll play this island. I'm not gonna be able to keep him off Tron forever. Oblivion Stone. Um, I feel like one of the quickest ways for us to win this game is to resolve a White Sun Zenith and beat down. So I kind of want to counter this. Uh, let's just see what our draw step would be, or what, what we would draw a thing twice. I mean, um, another land. Let's see. I suppose that's worth it. Is three one two, all right. And again, I'm doing this because 
and, and you, this could be wrong because it, it could be like hard for us to not hard but we were unlikely to draw um, let's see we can rev for four if we play a land here untapped hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'll just play this I guess alternatively I could go ahead and flashback these or I guess I, this one thing twice and Esper Charm. Alright. The thing is what I really what I would really like to be able to do. Okay, it's like a worm quill engine. That's fine. We're gonna counter draw that. And now I'm really interested in Now we are going to go ahead and Esper Charm our opponent. Now there's a chance here that he's just sitting on like pyroclasms or something, but again, those would kill our Wincon. So he discards an Ulamog and a Karn, so that's pretty good. Um, and now I'm going to play this, and even though we could wait another turn, I don't want to wait another turn to rev here. Okay, so he drew I. Um, we're still going to go ahead and rev. There is a chance that we draw. If he doesn't do it in response, there. there's a chance we can make him discard whatever he puts in his hand if we draw like a Snapcaster Mage. Um, so we're just gonna, I was kind of hoping we would draw a ghost quarter. Um, let me think for a second here. One, two, three, four, five. So if we activate colonnade, then we can hold up Esper Charm for his draw step, which I think is great. Um, so he'll activate I, untap, draw, will make him discard. Yeah, that should work just fine. We can discard a land. discard one of these and we'll go ahead and make a discard that Okay, so we pick up another Worm Coil Engine, which we can deal with. All right, so let's see. Activate Colonnade, and then we have Path, Snap Path. Path, like, yeah. Uh, and then he can activate, let's see, one, two, three, four, six, I don't, he can activate I, I guess, and get like another Thought Not Seer, but I still think that this is this is what we do. Let's see. What is not we also do have a we do have a snap shadow of doubt, but I don't think 
that that's what we're doing. For five, activate this guy. Um, let's see, our other option is counter bounce. Oh, wait, that doesn't really do anything. Three, four, five. So you could just replay the worm coil engine if we counter bounce worm coil. Um, we could also counter draw. Actually, we think we just probably want to counter and tap. So what are our other options? Do we have enough cards to, so if we logic knot here, let's see, put this in the yard. I think we, we can definitely counter this. But then he can redirect our thing to spell sky and we don't have enough to snap spell sky it. Um, me, yeah, I'm fine to, counter tap actually uh, let's see let me think if I'm forgetting anything yeah because then I can actually go ahead and pat the other one he can redirect a spell sky and I don't need as much um, mana this turn Okay, so now um, three, four, five. So he can activate it. We can essentially stifle it with um, Shadow of Doubt. Now, if we do Snap Esper Charm, then he's kind of in the same position, which, not in the same position, but he can do the same thing that he did, which is activate it again in response. Um, let's see how much mana do we have. Probably don't need to shock. I just want to keep all of my options open and I want to continue to try to kill him. I think probably, let's see here. If we draw another land, then we can hit for eight in one turn actually, so. So our options here is to go Snapcaster Mage, Shadow of Doubt. Um, the other option is to go Snapcaster Mage, make him discard. But I think it's better to just Shadow of Doubt. Let's see. Then on his turn, though, he can go one, two, three. So this is six mana, seven, activate I, and he will have... Let's see, five, six, seven. So for seven, he could still play like, he could, he probably doesn't have another Worm Coil Engine. Um, yeah, I think the, th the right thing to do is to Shadow of Doubt here. Um, and then we, we can still potentially Logic Knot something. Ghost Quarter is pretty good. So he drew a card, which was a Karn. So he can make one, two, three. 
uh, four, five, six, seven. So we need to logic not unless he pays seven, which I believe we can do. Uh, so x is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he can go one. Oh, just double checking here. He can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we want to do eight. We can exile a cryptic here. And so then we can attack with both colonnades. All right, so manage to scrape out a win against Tron. Uh, I think we want to bring in our Vendillion clicks, um, our Stony Silences, our Negates. I don't think we want the Relic. Um, I like Spell Snare because it hits Sylvan Library. I don't think I like Condemn. Detention Sphere seems to re everything else. Um, actually, these verdicts seem pretty awful. I think everything else is okay. Um, yeah, I think this is what we're going to run with here. Per usual for me, playing a deck like this, we have used a million more minutes than our opponent, so sorry for the slow play, guys. Um, hand doesn't do enough, obviously. No lands. Uh, uh, I've got a Ghost Quarter <laughs> and a Cryptic that we're going to put on the bottom. Oh, man, what a shame that we can't have an untapped blue source for Sylvan Scrine. Darn it. So I think here we just have to... Well, if he has a worm coil engine, then we're kind of in bad shape. If he has a Karn, then this negate is fantastic. Um, let's roll the dice. Or maybe we just want to try to keep him off Tron. Yeah, you know, we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to shoot some, one of these. What did he get? I'm sure he got a tower. Oh, he actually just got Eye of Ugin. Huh. I think I wish one to shoot Eye of Ugin, actually. So we're kind of rolling the dice here, but maybe we get to negate something. No, we don't. Oh well, we knew that could happen, but we are lucky. Go ahead and upkeep path. So if I could do this again, I played the ghost quarter kind of too preemptively. I would have preferred to look and see I should have looked first and not let him know that we actually had this ghost quarter. Sure, I need to kind of need to cycle this remand at some point here. Um, considering that we have a spell snare and he doesn't have another green that I know of. Uh, I don't mind remanding this, but um, we probably just spell snare because that's. I mean, that's that's why we left spell snare in the deck.
All right, I think we pass again. We really just need to draw another ghost quarter. Um, well, we know he's got an Eye of Ugin in hand. So what does he have currently? Like, he must just have, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, so he's got three, four, five, six, seven here. Um, this could very easily just be like a bluff. Let's see. If he has Ulamog in hand, then this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, gets another Tron land. Um, he would have been able to just go Ivogan and then play it though, so. I think I have to let this Sylvan Scrine resolve for the moment. Yeah, that's why we did that. So he's looked. He's searched up a power plant, tower. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can't activate the eye yet. This is see. This is the thing. Like I'm drawing our mana very awkwardly. We lose the game to Eye of Ugin. That is how we lose this game. So not being able to... Okay, so he's ready to tutor for something here. Oh, he just has Emrakul. Um, let's see. And we don't have enough mana to tap... Kind of pointless at this point. Um, let's just discard. We're going to concede, but let's make him discard just to see what he was working with. Okay. Um, Emrakul is one consideration, one reason to maybe. No, no, no. Detention Sphere does the same thing. Uh, we're going to give this a shot again. We will play. Um, this is a mulligan. It just doesn't really do anything. This is a keep. That needs to go to the bottom. We need to draw lands, we'll play our colonnade, and so we don't we, we have an answer to a map, and we have an answer to a Sylvan Scrine. Um, do we fetch here? I don't think so. Okay. Fortunately, we didn't draw land, but um, maybe we can keep our opponent off Tron. If he has just has Tron, then we do have a negate for something. Uh, I think we negate stirrings.
colonnade, I guess. We should be able to bounce this at some point. Okay. Oblivion stone. I'm just gonna cycle here. I'm gonna s click him at his draw step because I'd like to take this Oblivion Stone away from him. Let's just see what he's working with. Karn, Karn, Stone. Okay, so he actually has um, the business. His hand, we're, we're He's, he actually gets to keep all of this. Um, he can't ca like he can cast the stone. He's kind of far away from activating it. He's one land away from activating Thought Knot Seer. Um, we're not going to take anything. Um, we will definitely be shooting him with this. So we're going to go ahead and cast our Shadow of Doubt. And then shoot his tower. Finds another tower. What a mean what a meanie head. Um, is there anything we can do about that? I guess we can think twice. I think we think twice and just try to hit like a negate or nope. Okay, so that happens. And we're going to think twice again. Sure, buddy. Okay, so player land. So he's going to have a Karn. He had Thought Not, Thought Not. He had Karn. Um, so we have Esper Charm here. It might be correct to just... I think it's probably going to be correct on our end to draw two cards and to try to hit a Counterspell of some sort. Um... I guess, well, you know what I also could have done, and it probably would have been better, is I could have Esper Charmed to draw two cards. Alright, well, I'm def he didn't do anything. I'm definitely. Oh, so he just wants to O Stone? Um, yeah, I still want to draw two. Black, white. Or white, rather. White, blue, black. Uh, we actually could have made him discard his whole hand, but we didn't know we were going to draw that. Um, hmm. So we get to take him off Tron again. Um, let's see. And we can White Suns. So 
at some point here. Yeah, we know this is happening. So now we play Ghost Quarter. Um, do we, let's see, we don't have enough mana to do all of that. So let's just, we've already shot one of his towers. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna shoot this now. So we go ahead and path this guy. Fortunately, he actually gets to exile our White Sun Zenith. Um, it's unfortunate. Probably a better way for me to do that. Uh, we can colonnade him. Let's draw two cards because he blew up his pithy needle. Another colonnade. Negate is useful. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, I think we just certainly. Uh, We just attack with Colony here. O Stone does not hit Colonnade. Play this so we have up negate. Okay. Fetch. He should just be dead. Three, four, five. Oh, one here. So even if he had some kind of removal spell, then we could negate it. All right, cool. Well, managed to beat what is probably like one of the worst matchups <laughs> for this deck. Um. Again, this is the list that we're running. And the reason is, like I said, I, I just, as much as I would love to play Geist right now, I just don't think that I can. Um, I don't know if this is reasonable, actually, against Tron, because it, it, it does give us another win condition, or just another way to, to attack him. And it kind of, it permanently disables his Eye of Ugin. Not really disables, but it makes it pretty bad. Um, I don't know. Managed to get there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, we're going to do five rounds with Esper Drago. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Draw well. Smash face. Go to greatnate.com. Check out my site to get all my social media links. Yeah. Thanks, guys.